This video demonstrates the Sound Devices SD Remote Control app for iPhone for controlling the Sound Devices 8 series mixer recorders. Let's touch the SD Remote app icon to open the app. The first thing that appears is a connect window allowing you to connect to the device of your choice. Simply touch the Bluetooth button to connect. Once connected, the app displays the eight channel meter view. Here you can see all the first eight channels of meters. You can see 16 channel meters all at once by touching the 16 channel meter tab at the bottom. You can also see higher groups of meters by swiping up from the bottom. In this case, I'm showing now 17 through 32. Swipe down, and now I see channels 1 through 16. Each meter has an arm button on its left-hand side, and simply touching that will allow you to arm and disarm channels. In the meter itself, you have the channel name and also a fader, which you can drag up and down to adjust your mix. Now these fa uh, faders can be hidden by going into your gear tab, bottom right hand corner, and selecting hide faders. You can also touch a channel meter to access its settings window. And from here, I can edit channel names, I can adjust a tr the trim gain of a channel, the fader gain of a channel, pan, mute, and solo status. At the top of the screen, we have a window displaying the timecode count and the current take name. Other information included is the remaining time on your record media, the SSD, SD1, and SD2, sample rate, frame rate, and clock source. We can instigate various transport commands below that by hitting the record button to go into record, the stop button to stop recording, there's a false take button for deleting the last take, and then we have playback buttons for fast forward, rewind, and playback. Let's take a look at the take list tab now. So touch the tab. And here is a list of all your takes, uh, most recent first. And here I can select any take and edit its metadata by selecting it. And then I can edit things like scene name, project name, take number, notes, um, circle, take, and track names. If I click on the eye icon to the right at the right hand side of a take, you'll see further information about that take, such as its name, start time code value, frame rate, duration, folder that it was recorded into, and various other information. Each take also has a play button on the left hand side of the eye icon, which allows you to play back that take. Let's take a look at the reports tab. And this is where you can create a sound report from. So you simply select the source media that you want to create the report from, what format and whether you want to email the report, and then you can enter various header information for your sound report. When you're ready to create the report, hit create report and that will create the report and automatically open up the mail client if you have selected emailing as your option. From here, you can then enter the data you need to send to the destination of your requirement. Hit cancel. Okay, let's have a look at the last tab here, the gear icon. And here you can see the SD remote version. Um, you can set your meter view arms to be locked so you can't accidentally arm or disarm. You can choose to hide faders or not. And then finally, there's a switch for putting your 8 series into file transfer mode, which allows you to connect to a computer or a phone to transfer files. 
So that's the SD Remote app for the Sound Devices 8 Series mixer recorders. Thank you very much for listening.